love you so much. I, I remember um, when uh, uh, Stephen Huvane and, and Jen uh, said, who do you want to ask to present you? And I was like, how about no one? How about I bother no one? Because it, it's like, so, what, do you, what, what do you pick up the phone and be like, I'm so sorry, can you present me the award tonight? It's just not, like, that doesn't feel comfortable to me. And I'm not, like, a big award winner. And, but then Jimmy's family, so that felt really safe. And you showed up, and I love you, and I thank you, and we will be in this for life together. We've been through everything, and it made all of my insecurities about bothering someone in the middle of their day or evening feel so much better because you're my family. So it's, it helps with the, you know, I don't want to bother anyone. But you, uh, it's different. You, it's different because you're my brother. He's Bill for brother-in-law. I'm Syl for sister-in-law. And um, everyone sitting at our table tonight um, is my family, too. And I appreciate family so much. I craved it. I really discovered what, it, what the kind of meaning was, like a family on E.T. Um, I grew up with, like, a single mom, and everything was, like, crickets and quiet. And then I got to E.T. And I've been working since I was in diapers. That's not a euphemism. I started in diapers. And I... I'm not really used to these things. I, I'm not good with my and I. I'm not really comfortable with words like power. If you just shift it to powerful or superpower or empower, now I'm down. <laughs> but like that lingo and verbiage that's really like takes ownership is not my tone at all. I am goofy. I like to make fun of myself. I'm in no way a teacher, I'm a student, a work in progress, and I just really want to figure this all out and continue to grow and be the best person I can, knowing that I've just had heaps of flaws and fall downs and imperfections that have been so informative and liberating to not stand here and posture about like, you know, any of that. Oh God, I'm not that guy at all. Um, but I would love to make this moment of which I was, I didn't prepare a speech. Um, I, I will tell you about World Central Kitchen, um, which is um, funny enough, when I was working on Fever Pitch with Jimmy, um, I love to eat alone because I'm like an alley cat and I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, oh yeah, that's good, that's sweet and sorry. I'll get some sanitizer for you babies later. Um, so I was eating alone like the alley cat that I am. And these dinners, I don't want to eat in front of any of you. I'll go home later and, and, and binge food and television. It's not going to happen here. I don't feel comfortable at these events like mid-bite. Uh-uh, no. Um, <laughs> but... I was reading this article, uh, and it talked about uh, the World Food Program um, that was a division of the UN and that school feeding was taking place in Africa, and it changed my life. I read this one article, and I hacked my bags, and I went to Africa, and I met a gentleman from the UN who, when he picked me up at the airport, goes, we don't need any celebrity Florence Nightingales. Do you hear me? And I was like... I'm going to get along with you really well because I feel the exact same way. And I'm not here to talk about this. I'm just here to learn. So teach me and I'll be very quiet and I'll listen. And then I worked for years with them and it was really helpful and healing because I grew up working since I was in diapers, but I was rarely with kids. I was always with adults and I could tell that kids literally were like... <laughs> something's wrong with you. And I was like, shoot, man. I know. I, I work around adults. I pay the rent. We have nothing in common. Your instincts are right. You don't like me. I don't know about you. And just, oh, forget it. And so this work that I did with the UN was the first time I had a chance to mingle with children that didn't think I was weird or different 
I was just another person and I started this journey where I wasn't insecure around them, like asking Jimmy to do this tonight. I, I have a lot of fear to bother people. Um, and it was like the first time kids and I like meshed and I became a nurturer and I was always such a survivor and I, I just did not have that connection with kids. And this was the entree into what would literally turn me into someone who this whole thing tonight is really directed um, to my daughter, Olive. I, <laughs> I got to fall in love with kids and become a mom myself. My other daughter, Frankie, was like, Mom, I'm leaving. I got to go home. And I was like, you do that, and I love you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> you do you. And then the last, obviously, 24 hours, as in the last two years, as in maybe since the beginning of time, we've been living in a fight-or-flight state. And yesterday, I couldn't stop crying at just everything in the state of the world. And today, my daughter walked in, and she said, Mom, I want... And by the way, the fact that I wasn't a kid, like, or got along with kids or knew what a kids what were, and I was in a job that, like, didn't know boundaries. In fact, the less boundaries, the better. Um, so I was so... I, if there's anything I've ever been scared of, it's screwing up motherhood, which you know you're going to do to a certain extent. But how much can you get it right and my daughter walked in today and she said, Mom, I have a mission. And she read me a four-page speech that she wrote, and she's going to crusade to lower the age of voting rights to 16. And she spoke about women's rights and that I just sat there with my jaw open and just so relieved, so happy that she is this person. And um, it seems like when you're so scared and you're so lost, it's just do something. Yesterday I just picked myself up. Today I listened to my daughter. When I look at Jose Andreas, the reason I'm drawn to World Central Kitchen is because he says, I'm sorry, but tomorrow is not okay. It's today. And I love those scrappy people. I have always been one of those scrappy people. If you see somebody like doing this, get down on the goddamn floor with them and start picking stuff up. Just get in there and do it. Action. No. Yes. Not words not words and just action. And so I'm so inspired by Jose. I turned my whole thing around by going and fundraising for him yesterday and put myself into something bigger and more important. And I'm so grateful that Variety and Lifetime and everybody's making this event about that because it does feel intimidating to celebrate. It also feels like this is life. This is our lives. And while we are on this planet, if we do not take care of each other and keep mining for the gold of good every day because it is there. And that is what I want to do on this show and with my life. I want to find it. I want to be scrappy. I want to be proactive. And I cannot walk with the umbrella of depression. I've never been able to carry it. I can get down. I have a dark side. <sighs> I totally have a dark side. It's so rebellious and weird. And I vacillate between this really nice, optimistic person and this really dark, rebellious person. And it's... Go back to the positive. Go back to okay, the good, good, yeah. <laughs> but I, uh, I'm very grateful that Variety, who's probably questioning why they asked me to this event, um, to be here tonight so that I could do this with my daughter, so I could celebrate in a moment. Um, this is a, a, a very joyous moment that clearly I don't know how to handle. It's amazing I, I get to do any job. Um, I've always had a lot of confidence at work, though. It's funny. I don't know how or why. I grew up loving Pippi Longstocking and the Go-Go's, and I was like, 
oh, you don't have to be some baller woman in action movies pretending to be a man. We're going to be the movie that literally you're like kicking his butt and then going like, okay, so that date last night, hold on. One of the best lines in the movie is her Cameron beating up a bad guy going, you broke the phone call with the guy I went on the date with last night. Do you know how hard it is to find a quality man in Los Angeles? I'm like, now that's an action movie. So I love men. I love women. I feel like I've been given a tremendous amount of opportunity. And not for one second have I ever been angry at anyone. And if you have power, please do not wield it against anyone. Please use it to protect and take care of people. Thank you very much for having me tonight. I appreciate it.